Well, it is turning into another great day. I just saw something. And boy, that looks dime-sized. Ha <laughs> ha! Yep, back out in the woods today. I'm out with practical Ken today, out at the farm. And it's not bad. It's a little chilly out. Sun finally popped through. And here's my first target. Yeah, not sure exactly. Some kind of a retaining nut made out of brass. All right, let's see if we can find some good stuff today. All right, I just got my first cool find. Ring up high like aluminum, and it is. It's another star token. Let me clean it up a little bit, and I'll get back to you, see if I can read what's on it. Well, I was able to get a name off it. Leonard Benjamin, I think it's Tunis. And then there's something at the bottom that I can't quite make out. Down here, it's a little scruffed up. That's cool. I got a name I can research. I think that they made, you could make these in a machine at arcades. I found about four or five of them out here now. All right, cool find. Let's keep going. Well, my next signal produced some little pieces of copper and brass. Kind of look like they're maybe pieces off a lamp or something. Not quite sure. But let's keep going. See what else we can find. Ken's over here through the brush. Working on some target. Well, I got a suspicious target here. Running a 41, 42. Could be a penny, could be a ball jar. Could be anything. Let's dig it and see what we got. Well, I'm not sure what it is yet, but it almost looks like there's a loop on the top. Like it's a pendant. I'm thinking I got a little piece of jewelry. I don't know. It might even be silver. I'll have to clean it up and look at it. I'll get back to you. Well, I tried cleaning it up. It's a little religious pendant. It says Joseph something or other. I don't know. It's hard to read. And on the other side, there's a picture of an angel, and it says my guardian angel something or other, my guile. So, I can't quite read it all, but it looks more like aluminum than silver, just the way it's corroding. It's got a hole in it, and it's kind of falling apart. So, I don't think it's silver. I think it's aluminum. But, a cool find, another, nevertheless. I like that. You see the angel's wings on there. Can't quite tell. There's a figure on this side. Uh, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure it's uh, some kind of Catholic medallion. I'm not Catholic, so I don't know all the ins and outs of it. So, cool find. Well, there's my next target. Not sure what that is. If that's a piece off of a sash buckle or something. Not sure. All right, let's move on. Well, there's my next target. I found a couple of these now. Real small spoons. Not quite sure if they're like a sugar spoon or a baby spoon, but silver plate. All right, let's keep going. I got a pretty good tone right here. 
kind of big though it's probably a ball jar but we're gonna dig it anyway been digging a lot of them today but here we go yeah i was right ball jar reason that one ranks so high is because this is an aluminum one instead of tin all right let's keep going well, there's my next target another silver plated spoon this one's pretty fancy yeah, fancy on the back. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, there's my next target. Another big spoon. Silver plate. All right, let's keep going. Well, there's my last target, and it's heavy. It uh, looks to be the handle off of a large knife, but the nice thing about it, it's monogrammed Morton, which was a hotel in Grand Rapids. That's a heavy one. Nice piece. I don't think it's solid. I think it's plated, but... That's a pretty cool find. I like find a monogram stuff. All right, we were just getting ready to leave the woods, and me, I can't walk past the signal. I don't know if you can see that, but we have us a coin. And I think it's an Indian. Let me clean it up when I get back. Yeah, I just couldn't get out of the woods. It's a weedy. It's not an Indian. But it's a 1917. Another old coin. All right, I'm going to attempt to get out of the woods again here. <laughs> Neither one of us want to quit. What are you going to do? Just one more haul. Just one more hole. Well, I just pulled a old penny here. Ken just pulled one a couple feet away. Love it. Let's see if this one's an Indian or not. It's going to be a weedy. I can see Lincoln on there. He'll have to clean it, clean it up to get a date, though. Watch his channel. You'll find out what it is. Well, it's kind of drizzly and gloomy out here today, but it doesn't stop me. I still got to dig, and I just got my first target, and I have something round in the hole. Well, I'm going over ground I've been over before, but that just popped out. It was a high tone. Oh, man. Let me clean this thing up see what it is it's pretty heavy oh this could be good this is cool now it's not a coin you ready to see it look at that it's one-sided it looks like it was attached to something so i'm guessing it's part of a metal or a pen Whoa, that is cool. It's got a sword and a key that are crossed. It's got stars in a circle. I don't know what this is. Maybe Grand Army of the Republic or something. I don't know. But I am definitely going to have to research this one. Wow. Wow. For a first find of the day, that is something. I could quit right now. Well, a friend of mine, Butch Hamstra, contacted me and told me this is a World War I quartermaster collar pin or collar badge 
whatever you want to call it. Cool. That along with the World War I button that I found. I found two military items out here now, besides the Civil War stuff. Cool. Well, my next signal is one of those disappearing signals. I chased it all over the hole, and I finally found it when it popped out. I saw a round. I thought I had a coin, but no. What it is is a broken off drawer pull. Still pretty cool, but not the big coin I was hoping for. All right, let's keep going here. See what else we can find. Well, it is turning into another great day. I just saw something. And boy, that looks dime-sized. Ha <laughs> ha! We've got another barber. Let me clean it up, and I'll get back to you. Well, this is turning into another stellar hunt. A 1901 Barber. No mint mark on the back. God, I love finding these. That along with that pin I found. What a day. To move some logs around and came up with this. Some kind of a cap or cover for something. Not sure what it is. All right, let's keep going. Well, my next target is kind of cool. It's just an aluminum cap off of something. But it says, Marvelous Nail Polish. Richard Hudnut, New York. It's kind of cool. All right, let's keep going. Well, I'm not sure what this is, but it's got fancy on it. It's got little flowers on it. It looks like it's some kind of uh, some kind of a buckle or a cover for something. I don't know, it's got a bar on the back here. Huh. I'm not sure on that one. It's oddly shaped. It's got this little lip. I don't know if that's a buckle or not. It's possible that that could have been a buckle. That's different. I like it. All right, let's move on. Well, not too far from where I just popped the barber dime. I have another coin. Let me clean it up. Oh, I see Lincoln. All right, it's going to be a pre-1920 Wheaty. Let me clean it up. Well, I got it cleaned up. Got a date off it. It is uh, 1916. I didn't clean up the back. But... All right. Let's keep going. That's two coins today. Let's keep going. See if we can get some more. Well, right next to that penny, I just had kind of a scratchy signal. It wasn't a penny signal. It was a little lower. But I know what that is. A uh, thimble, and it looks like it's whole. Let me clean it up. I'll get back to you. Well, I got it cleaned up a little bit, best I could out here. It's not silver, 
It's an aluminum one. Got a little chunk out of it. I don't see any writing on it. A lot of times they'll have advertisement around the rim of them. But another nice addition. I think that's like my fourth or fifth thimble out here. I've got two silver ones out here already. I'll take it. That's a nice find. Let's keep going. Now this one is a first for me. I just recognize the shape of that. That is an old whistle. Ah, and everything out here is pre-1920. So this thing's over 100 years old. Wow, let me clean that up. That is cool. All right, I'll be back. All right, I did a little preliminary wipe down on it. It says on the top, VL and A Special, Chicago. I'll tell you what, that's pretty special to me. That is a cool find. Oop, pieces of it are falling off. Must have had some iron on the end of it. Wow. That's cool. That's heavy too. I'm going to have to clean the dirt out of it see if it still has a ball in it or if it ever had a ball in it. I don't know if this type had a ball or not. But I'm going to clean that up and then I'll be researching that a little bit. Cool. Well, I just cleaned this out a little bit can't blow through it yet there's still some blockage but it does still have the ball in it you see it in there cool that is probably my cool find of the day even though I found silver and military badges that is cool I like that that's first for me I'll have to clean that up better display that one all right let's move on Well, there's my next find. It's even got the winder key left on it. Old clock guts. Huh. Might have to see if I can remove that key. That'd make a nice display piece. I don't know that I want the rest of the clock guts. I found lots of clock guts before. But that's a neat little key on there. Might try to save that. All right, let's keep going. Uh, here's a cool find. It's the old back to a thermometer. On the top it says Fahrenheit. At 100 degrees it says blood heat. There it says summer heat. Tampa heat, and then down here, freezing. Huh, that's interesting. That's a cool old piece. All right, let's keep going. Well, after a hundred years of this being in the ground, we brought it back to life. I like that. <laughs> 